little bit about your company and how you started up. Yeah, actually I have started six months ago uh, officially, but before that it was maybe one year I started at Bass and, and uh, kind of hobby. It's called Elegant Me uh, and I also call it EL Me Fashion. Uh, mainly we're focusing uh, on uh, children, teenagers and mothers and now I have introduced a new line for boys uh, from let's say two months until um, eight years. This is a new line for my business. What made you choose this kind of business or industry? Uh, okay, uh, being a mother for four girls in different uh, levels, uh, university, primary and KG, I was, as customer, I was looking for something fashion, uh, trendy, something different and unique. So, uh, I, will, I also had that feeling uh, that there was something missing. I was looking for something matches a combination between our culture and the Western uh, taste. And that's why I started thinking, why don't I design for my daughter something new? And when I have decided, uh, started this actually, I noticed that people like my designs, uh, the fabric is used. And that's why I told myself, okay, so as far as I have people and uh, you know customers, so why don't I think about it seriously as business? In every business, there are challenges. What are the challenges you faced in your business? Uh, actually, the first thing um, it was the experience because it's my first time to think of uh, having my own business. So in any business, of course, if you don't have uh, the right experience, you might uh, go through some, uh, you know, uh, cases that uh, won't ma make it easier for you to survive. But alhamdulillah, yani I survived so far. And also the second thing was the quality because I am a quality oriented person as a customer before being a business owner. So uh, looking for the right quality and to keep the, you know, the international standard was not that easy. That's why uh, I dealt with many factories and tailors, but I was not happy with all of them. But alhamdulillah, the shortlisted ones that I'm dealing with now are really very professional and very experienced. So what makes you stand out in today's market? How are you different from your competition? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, being a mother for four kids, this makes me as customer before being a business owner very... Uh, you know, close to the market, to the fashion and uh, trends. That's why, um, you know, uh, for me, um, I can tell that I can understand what teenagers are looking for, what children and mothers are looking for. And because I'm, as I said, a mother, I'm also close to the customers as mothers. So they tell me what they are looking for, what they like, what they don't like, what kind of fabric they are expecting me to introduce. How do you think Expo 2020 will impact your business? Uh, I think it would be a great opportunity for everyone uh, who's looking for different opportunities inside and outside UAE to meet with the business people, the professional people, uh, to promote their businesses and market for their services. And who knows, maybe Elegant Me will be an international brand name one day. <laughs> what skills would you like to develop or cultivate in yourself that would help you add value to your business? Yeah, anything that will uh, develop and um, improve uh, my business definitely I'll think about it. Uh, I would like to say that I have just uh, registered last week in uh, ISMOT, the French Institute for Fashion and Designing and this is will add a strength for me because I love uh, designing, I love fashion but I don't have the academic background but uh, being a student in one of the most uh, international and professional uh, fashion designing French Institute this will add value of course to me plus the other training I'm already uh, attending like the marketing, uh, sales and uh, business development uh, training courses. If you had one piece of advice to someone just starting out, what would it be? First of all, I advise everyone to believe in themselves. Each person has his own strengths and weaknesses, but they should focus on their strengths, what they like, what they don't like, what can... Before thinking of the business, they should have passion about what they're doing, what they like. You know, for example, Many of my friends told me, why don't you open a restaurant, for example. This is a good one of the fast growing businesses. But for me, I'm more into fashion and trends. So uh, the first advice is to, as I said, to believe in themselves, to love what they're doing. And they should always keep developing themselves. Even if they reach it, what they are looking for, I think it's not enough. It should be a start for them. That's my advice.